After a bumper start this year, growth in Germany has somewhat slowed over the second quarter. It only stayed in positive territory by about a rounding error. It is unclear yet why German GDP fell so much in the second quarter and was so much below analyst expectations. However, from anecdotal evidence it would seem that exports have fallen away quite significantly from Germany and also inventories did build up over the first quarter of this year. Following on from this very negative result, European equity markets were down sharply into negative territory. The DAX alone fell about 3% in overnight's trading. Following on from this, the Dow Jones also lost ground overnight. It just seems that the Dow Jones couldn't trade in positive territories for four straight days in a row and overnight was down about 0.7%. Overnight we once again saw the twice monthly Fonterra Global Dairy Trade auction. For the fourth straight auction in a row, prices fell away, albeit by only 0.9% this time. I believe this is quite a good result for Fonterra, considering international markets have been so volatile over the last two weeks. Also, we've seen quite sharp losses on milk futures out of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Overnight, we also saw the New Zealand dollar have a steady bid tone to it, and trades in the high 83 range. Today we expect the range to be about one cent, given the fact that we haven't seen as much volatility over the last 24 hours as we did last week. Also out yesterday was the Reserve Bank of Australia meeting minutes. They said that in the last, last meeting they did not increase the official cash rate due to the international uncertainty. And if we look to our own market here in New Zealand, it is likely that Reserve Bank Governor Al Bollard will also take the same view of not increasing our official cash rate until at least December of this year.